Hello everyone, welcome back to Mad About Design. In this tutorial, I am going to be showing you how to design this A-shaped lamp using Autodesk Fusion 360. Here are the tools and commands we are going to use in this tutorial. If you are new to this channel, do subscribe to us and turn on the bell notification so that you won't miss any of our new videos. Now, without wasting time, let's get into it. First. Create a new design by going here. The unit I am going to use in this tutorial is millimeter. You can change that here, leave it. Create a new sketch on the right plane. Go to straight line command and turn on the construction option. Draw a vertical line of length 65 millimeter. Turn off the construction feature. Now draw an inclined line of length 130 mm. Followed by a horizontal line of length 75 mm. Click on this origin. Go to horizontal or vertical constraint and select this endpoint. So they will be vertically aligned to each other. Now under create go to mirror for the objects select these two lines and for the mirror line select this construction line. Click OK. Now go to two point rectangle and draw a rectangle anywhere from here up to a length of 120 millimeter and a height of 17 millimeter. Drag this little bit to the center. Go to sketch dimension command. Select this endpoint and this line and give a horizontal distance of 15 millimeter in between them. So the same distance will be applied on the other side. Now select this point and this line and give a vertical distance in between them as 5 mm. Now go to fillet command and fillet these two corner up to 7.5 mm. Go to fillet again and this time I am going to fillet up to 2.5 mm for these two corners. Press enter. Go to fillet again. Select this corner and fillet it up to 7.5 mm. Repeat the same step for the remaining two corners of the triangle. Press enter. Hide the dimensions and the constraints to view our sketch properly. Finish sketch. Now create another sketch on the front plane. Go to straight line command and draw a horizontal line from the origin up to a distance of 400 mm followed by an inclined line of length 800 mm and the end point of this line should be vertically aligned with the origin. Draw another inclined line of length 800 mm the end point should be horizontally aligned with the origin as follows. Now close the shape. Go to fillet. Click on this corner. I am going to fillet this up to 175 millimeter. I am going to provide a big fillet so that while 
sweeping the figure or body will not self intersect you going to understand this later now click on the remaining two corners of the triangle as follows press enter now go to two point rectangle i'm going to draw a rectangle from this point up to here and give it a width of 5 mm this rectangle is going to act for our wire finish sketch now go to sweep command type single path for the profile select this triangular profile and for the path select this path here you can see it has been swept properly give it a twist angle of 360 degree here it looks great orientation perpendicular and click okay this is going to act as the base of our light now turn on the visibility of our previous sketches go to sweep again this time select this rectangular profile i forgot to select this profile so you must select this one too for the path select this circular path twist angle 360 degree and operation new body this looks all right so click okay here is our body is ready it's time for the wire so go to revolve command for the profile select this rectangular profile and for the axis select this line operation new body and click okay here is our wire ready hide these sketches press a to go to appearance i'm going to use this cherry glossy color on it on our main body and for the light go to miscellaneous and select this frosted 1500 lm material on our light and for the wire select this material this is called peak you can also choose your own material here is our lamp ready it's time to render it so go to render i'm going to change the environment for better visuality and render quality go to setting environment library and choose this soft light under setting make the background color as solid color and for the color make it darker okay now here is our shadow so in order to remove it uncheck the ground plane option so the shadow is gone everything looks all right you can decrease the brightness i'm going to decrease it up to 750 or 800 and change the aspect ratio to 4 is to 3 close now go to in canvas render here is our design is rendering properly 
and after putting some effort and doing some little bit of changes here is the final result i hope you learned something new in this tutorial see you in the next video till then keep designing and design whatever you love let us know if you have any suggestions and comments in the comments below bye bye